Toyota built the GR Yaris as a rally car. So in this episode of Mighty Car Mods, I'm going rallying. You know that the world has changed when you get in your Yaris and leave your STI behind at home. I'm not saying it's blown up, but it did blow up. I've got a few hours of driving ahead of me to get to the ACT, which is about halfway between Sydney and Melbourne, and home to Canberra, arguably the capital city of Australia, and a place a whole lot of politicians call home. But there's something even better going on down there than politics at the moment. And it's not just stanced out Toyota crowns and wild pink foresters at the lookout, it's the Australian Rally Championship. So is the GA Yaris a good highway car? I would say yes and no. Uh, I find the seats comfortable. I think they're too high, like many others do, but I do find them comfortable. You've got all your creature comforts, the climate control works well, really clear instruments, good visibility, Android Auto, CarPlay, Nap Maps, all that sort of important things. Overall, it's a comfortable place to be. I've done this drive many, many times and in cars much less comfortable than this. So overall, I think it's a nice place to be and I would do it any day of the week. The first round for the National Capital Rally was running while I was busy fixing and showing off my RX-7, but I've made it down tonight ready for an early start tomorrow back at the stage. Canberra is known for being a maze of roundabouts and loop roads, but I think I've finally made it. I think I'm in the right place. What makes me think that? I just found a whole bunch of other Yarai. And of course you've got to park near them. You know when you see a car that's the same brand, you've got to park near it every time. It's morning in Canberra, which means there's no traffic and it's very, very cold. I don't actually know my way to this rally village that we're supposed to head to, uh, so I'm waiting on a couple of people who can help me get there. Turns out I'm not the only micro car enthusiast here for this event. A bunch of other GR Yaris owners have been invited along too. Marty, I chopped you at the lights. <laughs> I was distracted. I okay? chopped you. It's no, no excuse. Is this, I is this stop? Yeah, it is at the moment. Then how did yeah. you chop me? Because that's stock. <laughs> Physically impossible to chop me. I don't know. That's nice. Just, Have you like course. ceramic coated it and stuff? No, literally it's just, just washing it all the time, keeping it real nice. Washing it all the time, you say? <laughs> Crazy for a <laughs> just, rally car. Just ignore that. <laughs> One of the main differences between the ACT or Canberra, as opposed to where we live is, you go straight from the city and literally within 10 minutes, you are in the bush. There's gravel roads everywhere, national park, forest, just, it's just like a playground if you're into cars, particularly rallying, which is one of the reasons it's so popular down here. So we got a short ride up to the rally village. I've never been to a rally village before, uh, but myself and a bunch of other Yarra drivers, we're all gonna head up there and then hopefully see some epic stuff. So after a long drive on a gravel road, very slowly, because we don't want to scratch our rally cars, um, we're at the rally village, which looks, I guess, like the start and finish area. Rally's huge throughout the world. It's, you know, been a bit quiet in the last year or two because of COVID, obviously. Uh, so it's just starting to kick off again, and it's good to see manufacturers behind it. Um, Toyota, Hyundai, some of the big ones, and all the usual suspects, but alas, not much in the way of Subarus and Evos and all the classic stuff that you might see, at least going forward anyway. So, gonna check it out, look at some rally cars, maybe go for a spin. I didn't get a whole bunch of info in advance about what this was all about. Just an email saying, come to Canberra if you want to see a Yaris rally car up close. But it turns out all these owners are going for some happy laps in the actual rally cars that just yesterday won the first round of the championship. And the whole race team that set them up is here as well. Josh, Josh, how did you end up here? Oh, I joined a uh, competition that was running by the uh, Guzu Racing Club. Guzu Racing Club, is that Toyota that do yeah, that? Yeah, Toyota and Guzu Racing They have club. their own club? They do, they do. Just for GI owners. Is there a Mitsubishi club? Not that I know. Subaru club? Mm, no, they had the Blue Army, but no what, club. The Blue Army. What about an official Hyundai? Kia? Uh, Volkswagen. Do Volkswagen have a club? Mm, for rally? No, no. Right, so how'd you end up here? You ended a competition and you won? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, 25 words or less. Yeah. Um, competition online. Well, what did you write? I wrote the, um, the, the car I'd, I'd build as a GI car would be the new electric car which I can never remember its name. The VZ for something. <laughs> the thing that sounds like an electricity bolt, yeah. which is what they normally sound like. That's awesome. Yeah, so and here you are, and you've got a red Yaris, is that right? It's yeah, way over yeah. yonder somewhere. Yeah, my one's the uh, EV Yaris over there. So what's yeah? What's with the choice of wheels? Oh, I was just looking for white wheels. Yep. Um, it just so happened that a mate had some Evo 10 wheels. 
and they fit. Yeah, they do. And and actually, you know, the stance looks a little bit better as well. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, well, why not? And is this your first thing in like foray into rallying ever? No, I'm, I've actually rallied for years. Right. So um, you're a rally fan. I mean, I yeah, shouldn't yeah, go from that. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah, I'm actually a Neil Bates fan from you know. 25 years ago. Neil Bates, like right there? Yeah, he is, yeah. Oh, that's pretty and cool. And his two sons. Oh, so dude, that's I, awesome. I got, so you're loving it. Yeah, yeah. This is the best. Um, yep, so I got a ride with Lewis, which is great. Oh, you've already been in? Yeah. How was it? Oh, it was awesome. The, um, the amount of grip on that thing is yeah. incredible. Does it have more grip than, what, have you got, you got like Datsun or something, right? No, yeah, 86. Well, do you reckon, oh, an 86. Yeah. If, if one of these breaks down, yeah. maybe we could use your 86. Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Would it be as um, fast? It's... It's not as fast taking off. That's the main. That's the yeah. That's where all the differences are. Yeah. The rest of it's the same. Yeah. Right? Fair um, enough. So, yeah. Awesome, man. Have an awesome day. The officials picked out a loop of a few k's of what you typically find in a rally stage: tight corners for going sideways through, long dirt straights, and even a few jumps. <laughs> Like most rally cars, the power is restricted, but they are still crazy fast on dirt. It's my turn to get suited up. I'm about to jump in a legit GR Yaris rally car. The driver I'm passengering with is Harry Bates, who less than 24 hours earlier just won this stage. He said I could have a bit of a chat to him about what he does, only after we did a hot lap so I could experience it for myself. Ready? Ready? Are you going to launch it? Yep. Fantastic. Five seconds. these um good luck socks oh, love so socks. these are mighty Carmos chop socks they are known are you 8 to 11 or 11 to 14 uh 8 to 11 let's there go you, my friend perfect that's that's to bring Thank you good you. luck with your rallying Thank and you, so uh, much. you probably have to wear some like fia approved, approved sock yeah yeah but, but in, i can wear these underneath on the way to the rally yeah, yeah for sure awesome awesome thank you very much your yaris looks a bit fancier than mine. Can you tell me some basic differences between what I'm driving and what you're driving? Ah, uh, sure. So the engine's shared. We yep. run the 1.6 litre three-cylinder awesome. out of the uh, GR Yaris. <laughs> uh, All-wheel drive, just like yours, but we run a slightly different drivetrain. It's got a Sadev six-speed sequential gearbox in it yep. uh, and locked front and rear diffs, uh, which and then custom-made drive shafts, everything else to cope with what railing throws at it. I'm imagining part of the reason for that is probably because my car might do that once, 
and that has to do it hundreds if not thousands of times. Yeah, 100%. The gearbox we run is a super developed package yep. uh, and we can do a whole year without pulling the gearbox apart and having to look at it. So. Amazing. And what's the sort of split front to rear? In terms of drive? Yeah. 50-50. 50, 50. So, all the time. Yeah, yeah. So, and if you pull the handbrake? Yeah, it um, unlocks the, the rear so that oh, we've yeah. got, uh, yeah, it's got what's called a hang-on clutch. So yeah. it can open the rear diff. And, hang on, yeah. is that for the passenger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so handbrake corners are really easy in it. Yeah, uh, yeah it's amazing. And, and then obviously when you're on the throttle, it's driving forward with all four wheels. Yeah. There's people in Yaris's rallying and you see grandmas driving these things to the shops. Like, does that blow your mind? Yeah, it does. I think Toyota had a real breed of sports cars in the 90s, the Celica 100%. in particular, which was so closely related to rallying. Yeah. And then now, years later, they've brought that life back with yeah. the GR Yaris. And I think a lot of those enthusiasts that were really starving for something like it have yeah. gone out and grabbed one, like yourself. Yep. And uh, it's amazing. But for sure, Toyota has an incredible history in rallying. Yep. They've won multiple world championships, yep. multiple Australian championships. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, I think, in terms of motorsport, where mm. the brand's been the well, most successful. Well, here's to winning a few more championships. Thank you. Good to chat to you, man. You too. As with many flavours of motorsport, the base car is often modified substantially to suit its intended purpose. Driving the car is part of the story and an important part of winning, but so is the mechanical and technical know-how of the people that work on them. And with a little asking around, I found someone who does just that. I'm here with Sam Elliott who works for Neil Bates Motorsport. motorsport yes. So what do you do in a day? Um, basically, as a motorsport mechanic in Australia, we fabricate lots of the components ourselves. Yep. So, you know, it's cross members, exhaust manifolds, exhausts, uprights, control arms, all that sort of stuff, handbrake, gear sticks, everything, strut towers, everything's pretty much done in house. So that's more or less a day to day thing in. Work. This arrived to you like that, didn't it? Yes, 100%. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I know the headlights look kind of the same and the bonnet yep. and all that, but there's actually a lot different stuff going on. Like, I'm going to list what I see straight away and you yep. can tell me if it yep. was you or you guys. Tilted radiator. Definitely Unicool us. is whatever, that's yep. all you? Yep. Totally different like calling system here. Yes. Intake. All us. All us. Not stock. Yep. yep. All this front gear is that's not stock, is it? Yeah, so basically we raise the towers for travel. Oh, like, to get more suspension. To get travel. more suspension travel, yeah, and um, strength so the roll cage then ties into the strut towers. All oh, right. So then it's all nice and strong. Yep. yep. So are you responsible for cutting up a little bit of this stuff? Yeah, or? it's quite horrendous <laughs> getting a brand new car and cutting up, but when it looks like this at the end of it, it turns out happy. all right. It turns out all right. Same engine. Can, Same what, can engine, you tell yeah. me about the commonalities with the engine? Uh, the engine's pretty much a standard, or well, R5 and AP4, they go off a very standard engine. So yep. they're not quite, they're a motorsport engine, but they're not nothing too serious. So pistons, valve springs, yep. rockers, camshafts. And stuff that you've upgraded. Yeah, that's the stuff we've upgraded. So yep. there's nothing really too dissimilar to a road car engine right. other than those sort of components. But you do pull them apart and you do put yes. forges in them and yep. all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, what turbo? It is a Garrett turbo, unsure of the actual code number. Whatever but it's it is, just, don't give away your secrets anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're horsepower wise, and there's nothing crazy about them. Yeah. They're just good on torque, good on response. Yep. So they run an anti lag system, so the turbo's got to be up for the job. Yes. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Yep. So yeah, nothing crazy but they do the job. And you're making most, so I mean, essentially you're building race cars, right? Yes, So it's, it's yeah. different to modifying a, a street car where yeah. you kind of want to keep your air yep. conditioning and all it's that kind of stuff. Still a Toyota, but there's not much left yeah. body-wise of that car. Yeah, no, fair enough, because it's all custom. So, yeah. and your driveline again, um, uh, Harry was saying, is like a, like made in France as well. Yeah, so sequential a, and a, and what kind of diff? Uh, it's a set of diff, so it's basically Strong. LSD. Yeah quite tight and it's yep. got a hang on clutch in the center of the car so when you're going around a tight corner you can pull the handbrake on still drive it so basically drive it like a front wheel drive car so you still can you can still power you on. can still power on yes but the then let the handbrake go then you're gone so and you're back to full drive straight away back to full drive straight away. Ah, that's yep. awesome and how did you get into all this um my father was on a drag racing team yep. years ago so i just watched him yep. actually saw neil bates who the team owner used to drive he in 2009 i saw him in a rally car and i thought that's I want to do that for a job, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, ever since then, I've yeah got a job with Neil and now build his son's cars. What about your cars? What do you have? Oh, 2009 Hilux. I used to have a drift car, but... Uh, oh, I've got a yeah. 2008 Hilux. <laughs> yeah, sort of. nothing wrong with them, but yeah. To, uh, I can't afford this sort of stuff, but yeah. This enjoy is, yeah, because this is next I, level, yeah. like, up there, isn't it? Yeah, enjoy building them and enjoy working on them. Is that mounted in the stock location? Definitely not. So we, I think it's about 20, 25 degrees back, and it's further back. For weight? As well, for weight for distribution. distribution. Yeah. Yep. And how? what's your experience with the three cylinders versus anything else you've done before? Um, one less spark yeah, pump I was, gonna wait, I was waiting <laughs> for it, I'm like, he's going to yeah. say, one less piston. Thank yeah, you. so <laughs> yeah, they're not, it's still a 1.6 litre engine, so yeah. 
being in Australia and I think New Zealand as well, what we do is we and one mechanic will sort of venture out and do lots of things. Where yeah. overseas, they'll you know there'll be a shot guy, there'll be a specialist. Yeah, exactly. That's all you do. So I feel like Australia and New Zealand, they're you sort of touch on everything, and I felt it sort of fell into the fabrication stuff yeah. after watching my dad work on drag cars, which are all fully fabricated. Of and, course, yeah, just fell in love with all that. So yeah. Did you make that? I didn't make. Did that. Did you make that? Sort of, yes. So you yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll so, stop pointing the stuff, but yeah. like I'm seeing a lot of yeah, yeah. custom, and you got like remote. Is that from remote shocks as well? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, Murray Coote does our suspension for us, which yep. obviously the canisters are quite bigger than his normal stuff. So yep. that's for the travel and stuff like that. So yeah. And how much of this? I'm not going to ask what the secret squirrel stuff is, but is there secret squirrel stuff going on? Not necessarily. We just we tend to get the the basics right, and then the the winnings come and, after and that. tweak yeah. it and tweaking after that. Yeah. So as Murray said once to me before, it's not about getting it right. You just don't get it wrong, and yes, you can build and get it to the track and get have it, it survive. Yeah, exactly. Which is yep. you're not going to win unless you do all the above. Yeah, hundred percent. Awesome, man. Well, yep. yeah, it's really it's really cool. It's cool to see also what mechanics can do. I mean, look where we are. It's yeah, a pretty exactly. awesome place yep. to be, right? Yeah. Hanging out with fast cars. Have you driven this? Have, but never on the gravel, and I don't want to. <laughs> is Sam just going to have a drive, everyone? <laughs> yeah, Neil said it's good. It'll look like Lewis's one. I if think, you break so. it, if you break it, there's always. <laughs> yeah, <that>. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. No worries. Thank you. And just like that, my rallying experience is done. It's time to try and go and apply some of the stuff I've learned to my own rally driving in the form of a rally sprint. There's nothing like an epic passenger seat joyride in a properly fast car to inspire you to modify your own. The plan was always to mod this thing, I just wasn't sure exactly what approach to take. Seeing what Harry's car could do with restricted power and some driving skill is pretty inspiring. So next time on Mighty Car Mods, let the mods begin.